the final round of the 2016 Ellie Mae Classic. There's only four events left in the regular season on the web.com tour before the PGA Tour cards are given out. So it's crunch time. And here's CT Pan on the third hole. Check out that pin placement. That is very tricky. That one was for Eagle. He goes on here to tap in for birdie and finishes with a 65 and in sixth place. And that puts him up to 19th on the money list. Alex Prue also on three for his birdie. He also finished with a 65, but in fifth place. Brandon Hagee, his approach on the par five. Rolls it up there right where he wanted to put it, I'm sure. He goes on to putt for Eagle. That one drops for Hagee. He finishes T3 and moves up to 27th on the money list. Xander Shoffley right there along with Hagee on the fifth. The par four, 377 yard. That is his approach. Leaving himself still quite a bit of work to do with that birdie putt. And it rolls in for Shoffley. Moving on to the sixth hole with Xander. Quite the long birdie putt for him. It goes in and he cuts the lead to four after that, but he couldn't make up the difference. He finishes T3 and moves up to 21st on the money list. Rian Gibson, this is his second runner up in his last two starts, finishes with a 62 on the day. Awesome scoring by him, but no one could catch Steven Yeager, the 27 year old German there for birdie on four. And here he is on nine. This one for Eagle on the par five. He just misses it, taps in for birdie. That puts him to 28 under. He shot a 58, if you remember, on Thursday, breaking all kinds of records. And there he is for the win. He finished 30 under. That's the lowest 72 hole score on the web.com tour, any of the tours. And that definitely deserves a hug by mom. He beat the record by five shots on the web.com tour.